So it is official. The first two astronauts to ride Elon Musk's SpaceX capsule into orbit have made it safely back to planet Earth. Doug Hurley and Bob Benken splashed down off the Florida coast within the last hour after a two-month voyage to the International Space Station. It is a mission of firsts, the first NASA, NASA splashdown in 45 years and the first time a private company, SpaceX, has ferried people from orbit. Today's success then paving way for another voyage next year, that is the Alpha mission, also on a SpaceX craft. And on that flight next year will be the Frenchman Thomas Pesquet, uh, the first European to ride on one of Elon Musk's crafts. Now, working uh, on that team is Remy Canton, and we can uh, talk to him now. Uh, hello to you, sir. Thank you very much for being with us on France 24. And um, first of all, I just wonder if I could ask you how you feel uh, just seeing those images of Benken and Hurley uh, successfully making it back to Earth a short while ago. So I was uh, watching the live, the, the, the live news on the, just before calling you, and it was uh, a bit uh, a lot of suspense. So I feel uh, I feel a lot of relief uh, because that was the last step to be complete uh, to fully call the mission a success. And obviously, people are very impressed by the launch. But until the astronauts are not back on Earth safely, it's not a full, a full success. So now we know it. Now we know it is. And as I said, you're working on another similar journey next year with the Frenchman Thomas Pesquet. Tell us, what's the plan for next year? What are you hoping to be discovering? Uh, it's a bit premature to know what uh, will be discovered, but we want to promote science and to make. Uh, to make step-by-step uh, -step, uh, progress. So we are elaborating a, a scientific program covering all, all aspects of science, from material science, physiology, neuroscience. And uh, this step was very important because obviously to develop a program, we need to know when, when we launch. And until this success, we uh, there was a lot of uh, unknown. And now, uh, now we know for sure that Thomas will be not on the next launch, but the one after. That should be in spring 2021. Uh, we're in full speed for uh, to set up a program that will be uh, very interesting during his six months mission to follow uh, on the pro Proxima steps, his previous mission. Do we know how he's preparing for this mission next year? Do, do we know how he's preparing? How he's preparing, yes. Yes. So um, he, right. Um, Right after the lockdown, he went. Uh, Toma went to uh, to the U.S. to train, and it's a very fast training program, uh, very compressed schedule because of all of, all of the unknown. Um, so he trained on the on the Crew Dragon capsule, like the similar to the one that we've seen with Bob and Doug. Uh, he, he's basing up his um, his training on what he learned on his first flight during his uh, his uh, mission on Soyuz. And now he's back uh, just for a, a few weeks uh, in Europe for training at the European Astronaut Center in uh, Cologne in Germany. And after a few vacations, he will be back in the U.S. for the, for the for the training on the spacecraft, but also on all the payloads and all the scientific experiment we, we are preparing for him along the way. So it's a, it's a work in progress, and the, the, he will be back at some point in the, in the fall for, for training in Europe as well. Yeah, and we certainly wish him luck with that. But before I let you go, I wonder if I could just ask you perhaps quite a big question, because it seems that this mission marks a big change. We have Elon Musk, the billionaire, putting his money behind uh, this trip rather than national space agencies like we've seen in the past. Is this maybe the beginning of kind of commercialized uh, space flights? Well, it, it kind of is. Well, uh, SpaceX uh, success has been made also with a uh, public money because NASA paid uh, Boeing and SpaceX to develop uh, spacecraft, but it's a, it's a way to go uh, in, a more, in a more efficient way, uh, not on national budget. And then the, the next step will be to uh, uh, not only to serve NASA, like the, the missions we're talking about, but also maybe private missions, maybe tourism in the future. It's still a bit, a bit premature again, but it's, uh, it's definitely a new step, a new paradigm in space to uh, to, uh, to access uh, low Earth orbit and maybe beyond, you know, like SpaceX wants to go much further than uh, low Earth orbit. All right. Well, we wish uh, you uh, and all your team good luck uh, for next year. And thank you very much for talking to us. That is Remy Canton, the uh, Human Spaceflight Project Manager at the French Space Agency. Now let's move